As you've no doubt heard by now, Prince Harry married Meghan Markle in an unforgettable ceremony at Windsor Castle this morning. At this point, virtually every aspect of the royal wedding has been dissected on social media and in the tabloids. There have been in-depth discussions about Meghan and Harry's celebrity guests, the moving ceremony that incorporated elements of the cultures in which both newlyweds were raised, and of course, the fabulous dress worn by the new Duchess of Sussex. But some of the more subtle details of the ceremony have been largely overlooked. For example, there's been little coverage of the moving ways in which Meghan and Harry paid tribute to his late mother, Princess Diana. The most poignant tribute to the late Princess Di may have been the inclusion of her most beloved flower in Meghan's 16-foot veil. The spring blooms include forget-me-nuts which were Diana, Princess of Wales's favorite flower, a statement from Kensington Palace read. The couple specifically chose them to be included in Ms. Markle's bouquet to honor the memory of the late princess on this special day, for her second outfit of the day, pictured above, Meghan combined her something borrowed with her something blue by sporting an aquamarine ring from Princess Diana's private collection. Meg also kept an unofficial British tradition alive by collaborating with a female British designer to craft the perfect dress, just as Dee and Kate Middleton did. As for Harry, his signals that his mother was on his mind were a bit more subtle but no less potent. Royal watchers believe Harry's tendency to bite his lower lip was inherited from Diana. This is a micro-expression, human behavioral expert Susan Constantine tells Good Housekeeping. In this deeply personal moment, Harry is trying to conceal his emotions, and that's not the only way in which Harry's body language spoke volumes, as royal experts noted that he flouted custom by watching Meg walk down the aisle, at a British wedding, the groom and his best man, or supporter, will face the altar as the bride walks down the aisle, says Mika Mira of Beaumont Etiquette. He won't turn to look at her until she is beside him, those Brits, they're an understated bunch. Check out more highlights from Harry and Meghan's big day in the gallery below.